Good afternoon. My name is Jeff Jaster. I'm the principal at Northeast Middle School. And I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about the progress the district has made with the middle school consolidation. This began just before the current school year in late August, and we have um, had a group of administrators meeting since that time, uh, included myself, Mike Decker, the principal at Jefferson, Steve Poole, current principal at Central Middle School, and then also Gary Verlindi, our assistant superintendent. This first meeting, we met to really lay out the, the groundwork for what things needed to be done during the school year and uh, focus or prioritize tasks throughout the year. And, and we agreed that in the first semester of the school year, we wanted to get staff involved, get some information from them, and, and include them in committees or subcommittees to begin working on this consolidation process. Um, these types of uh, meetings included uh, the following topics. We, we met on everything from uh, building scheduling to the schools of choice process for the students who would be entering either Northeast or Jefferson. We also had meetings with transportation to ensure that uh, the students currently at Central would be safely transported to their new buildings. And then we've also gone into discussions about allocation of resources and curricular materials. And then last but not least, after school programs uh, for the next school year. As we move through the, s the semester, so this would be the fall of 2012, we included teachers, as I mentioned, in committees. And this was a, made up of a group of teachers, roughly five or six from each building were chosen uh, to represent their schools. And they could also bring forth concerns or areas where we needed to focus our efforts uh, this first semester. And of these teachers, we formed three subcommittees. The subcommittee groups were the following areas, curricular and academics. There was one subcommittee group uh, called school climate and then one that met to discuss at-risk concerns for students. Uh, each of these subcommittees probably met three to four times in the fall. And then again, we've had a recent meeting uh, just two weeks ago on April 10th. Um, since, since these meetings, we have shifted gears a little bit. And now that we've moved into the second semester of the school year, the priority has moved on to the students and what we're going to do to make this transition easier for them. And uh, I'll kind of lay out some of the activities that have already started to take place and some of the things that are planned in the future. The first thing that was done, uh, Steve Poole met with central staff and arranged with the English teachers at Central Middle School to begin journals for students. So in a sense, everybody uh, at Central who was going to be entering a new school received a pen pal at either Northeast or Jefferson because by the second semester, school of choice had already been determined for these kids. Uh, central students... Uh, have also had a chance to enter and join clubs at both schools. Uh, speaking just for Northeast, the one that has been most attended has been the volleyball club and we've had regularly six to eight kids uh, coming every two days from Central to join Northeast students after school. Uh, we're also going to be including Central students at, at both middle schools, Northeast and Jefferson, in the upcoming sixth grade spring concerts. And this will be an opportunity for the, the students at Central not only to play with our students, uh, but to attend if they just choose to attend and, and hear and see what it might be like to be in the orchestra or band at their new school. Northeast and Jefferson will also be hosting a student exchange day. That is scheduled for this coming Friday, April 19th. And the goal for that afternoon is really just to give chance, uh, kids a chance to see their new building, uh, meet kids, especially their pen pals, and then also have a chance to get a tour and meet some of the teachers in the school. Um, in addition, after the exchange day, there is a school party at each school, and, and kids may choose to stay for that if they like. Uh, last, Northeast and Central Middle School have also agreed to a combined after-school trip coming up in a few weeks. Uh, they'll be doing a trip to the Roll Arena, another chance again for kids to meet each other and hopefully meet with their pen pals. Some of the future plans that have still uh, uh, been in the works and will be finalized as we enter the summer is going to be an ambassador program for students and in particular what this will mean is that when the kids come in to pick up their schedule in August usually it occurs during the third or fourth week of August just before the Labor Day holiday they're going to have a chance to meet with one of their new classmates and that student will kind of be their mentor or help them to adjust to their new school and it'll be a resource for the new student um, if they have questions about uh, procedures or how things work at the new building, uh, even as simple as, you know, what time is lunch, how do I uh, handle joining a club, those kinds of questions can be answered with an ambassador program. 
So over the summer and as we wrap up this school year, we're going to continue to work on identifying concerns. We're going to talk to students, parents, other community members, and of course staff as we move through the rest of this year. And we hope to have everything in place um, again by August so that when students return to the buildings in the fall, it will be a seamless transition for our new Vikings or Huskies, depending on which school they're going to go to. If you have additional concerns after seeing this video, please feel free to contact the main office at Northeast. That number is 923-5772. Or if your student's going to attend Jefferson Middle School, they can call 923-5873. So I hope this was helpful. And again, if you have other questions about the upcoming middle school consolidation, please feel free to contact one of those two buildings. Thank you.